Hello, bonjour, guten tag, buenos dias, dobri den, welcome to me paintings. I'm Veronica Me, and today I would like to share with you a very colorful and creative fluid art tutorial. I will be using all these beautiful colors and also I will be using modeling clay. So this will be very fun, easy tutorial which anyone can do. And I also be using this special machine and some resin. I will show you each and every step so you can do that too. My canvas is quite big, it's 50 centimeters. I bought it in local art shop, it was 5 euros. This is primed, so there is no need to put gesso on it. I will start by putting masking tape on this part, because later on I will cover this with gold. So let's just put it here. Let's start by covering this with white base. It's a mixture of acrylic paint and pouring medium in ratio one part of paint, one part of pouring medium. There is no silicone oil in it. So I'm gonna cover this whole part with white base. Let's help myself with fingers just to spread it everywhere. And I'm gonna start pouring these puddles of paints. I'm gonna start with a permanent violet like this and then lighter shade inside of this violet perfect Now I've got this big piece of plastic sheet and I'm gonna swipe these paints all the way down there. It's moving down because the canvas is quite big so the cells will probably stretch towards the middle part but it's all right. Let's use my, my heat gun to pop some of these cells. it's gorgeous beautiful colorful combination but i'm gonna do one more thing i'm gonna swipe back so these paints will all mix together so let's take this again and swipe perfect such a colorful combination and of course it's absolutely fine if you want to keep it like this it's beautiful but if you've seen my previous tutorials you know i love to experiment so i want to mix this with some teal paint so i'm gonna do third and last swipe i'm gonna pour teal on this edge and swipe all the way there so here's my teal there is silicone oil in this shade so mixture of acrylic paint pouring medium and silicone oil this time i have to use a big kitchen towel because the canvas is quite big so i'm gonna put it on this edge Oh, I love all these lines and I want to keep some big cells. I don't want to have too many small cells. So I just blow it with my mouth. And I know these cells will still grow and create some colorful patterns they will probably move towards the middle part. So as you can see, these cells are still growing. They will grow into much bigger ones, but I love the fact that there are these lines with no cells. That's what will make this painting much more interesting. So I'm gonna let this dry for about 
for five days and then I'm gonna show you what to do next. I'm just gonna peel it off like this and it's all right if a little bit of paint will drop into this part that's perfect because it will make the edge more interesting. After a few days the paint is dry and as you can see the cells stretched quite a lot but it's all right because I will put some amazing clay shells on the top of my cells but now it's time to cover this part with special glue this is called metal leaf mixture glue because I need to put this glue on let it dry for a few hours and then I will stick my golden sheets onto it so I'm just gonna pour it here like this and spread it with my special brush which I use just for this kind of glue so let's do it all down here let it dry for a few hours and then I will apply the golden sheet Meanwhile, I'm going to show you how to prepare these cell shapes from my modeling clay. This is an air drying modeling clay, so you just let it dry on the air. So I'm going to open it. And take a little bit. It looks like this. I'm gonna make a little. Like this. And let's use my thumb to create these cell looking shapes. So, like this. And I'm just gonna let it dry here on air and then I'm gonna decorate it with some paint. Glue is dry, so now I can apply the golden sheet. I'm using this very soft gold sheet. You have to be very gentle with it. I'm just gonna put it on the top of my glue like this. On the edges as well, because I put some glue on the edges. Beautiful golden shine. Meanwhile, my little clay shapes got dry, so it's time to spray them with some gold. I've got this special acrylic gold paint, and I'm just gonna simply shake it, and then I can spray them all. So my clay cells are dry, sprayed with gold and now I'm going to fill the middle part and let's make this colorful middle part like this. So everything is dry now and it's time for most exciting part. I'm going to start adding this cell shape onto my painting. So firstly, I need to prepare my resin. 
Meanwhile, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, which is Resiners. I will be using this special airless light bubble removal machine because sometimes when I pour lots of resin onto the big surface I've got these bubbles on the top and it's hard to get rid of them so this machine should help me to get rid of those unnecessary bubbles and make a nice smooth surface so here's the machine and here's the manual for bubble removal machine they show you what you should do so you mix your resin, then you plug this machine into the electricity and you put your resin inside of this bubble machine and it takes about 10 minutes for 100 to 200 milliliters thin resin. Wait until the bubbles have completely risen to the surface, then press the power button again to stop the machine and then you're ready to pour your resin onto your art. Meanwhile, let's mix my resin. This is also epoxy resin from Resiners and you will need two cups, one measuring, one mixing cup and then some kind of spade. And this is very easy. Usually it comes with manual. This is one part of A, one part of B, so one to one. You don't have to measure anything, just one part of A and one part of B. This is crystal clear resin, that's what I'm looking for. Some beautiful shiny resin. So, full cup of part A. goes all in there and full cup of part B B goes with part A now mix it up very well it takes about two to three minutes to mix it up don't rush this part it needs to be all the components needs to be mixed properly so now it seems like everything is mixed so it's time to put it in my bubble removal machine and i'm gonna put my resin inside close it like this and there is a switch on the top now it should remove all the bubbles inside of my resin. It takes about 10 minutes. This is 200 milliliters of resin. So I'm gonna wait and then I can pour it straight onto my painting. After a few minutes, it looks like this. So a few more minutes to go and then it's ready to pour. So. Now I stopped it and I'm going to release the pressure here. And now I will be able to use my resin. Meanwhile, I prepared my painting. I've got this plastic bin bag here and I also lined up my cell shapes, which I will be putting on the top of my resin. It will serve me as a glue so these cells will nicely stick to the surface. Let's take the lid off. And here's my resin. It says that it's okay to have few bubbles there. They will pop once they are poured onto the painting. I put some pins and masking tape on the other side of my canvas. So it won't stick to my plastic bin bag. And I can pour the resin all over the top of my painting. I usually use torch for removing the bubbles, but when I work with big surfaces, 
it's definitely better for me to be sure that there are no bubbles inside so now i'm gonna start putting my cell shapes on the places where i want them to be so just like this easy peasy layering these on the top of my resin I will place loads of them around these lines and then some few here and few here as well. So this is how it looks. I'm gonna let it dry for about one day. I might change shades of some cells because I didn't have enough magenta ones. So I, I will repaint the top of these later on. But now I'm gonna let it dry for one day and then show you how it looks. So after one day, I came to my studio and the resin is nice and smooth, although it didn't stick to some parts that often happens to me when I put resin over the top of my fluid art projects. But don't worry, you can mend this by pouring another layer of resin on the top. And every cloud has a silver lining. I decided to embellish some parts and cells with golden foil, so I'm gonna use my mixture glue put the golden foil on the top of it and then pour another layer of resin. So second layer of resin, here it comes. Specifically on these edges. And this is the result of my special acrylic pour with glacials and i'm so happy with the result and also with the resin finish i'm happy that i added these golden details underneath my resin because it added so much more into my special painting so as you can see you can go absolutely wild with your pores and just turn it into masterpieces with few additional steps i hope this tutorial was inspirational for you if you enjoyed it please give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel i also share many new painting tutorials on my patreon here patreon.com slash me paintings thank you very much for watching and i wish you lots of success with your art pieces bye